cloudy sky just around 10 p.m. local time. The most brilliant of all the stars in the sky, other than the sun, is a star we know as called Sirius. This is the brightest star that you can see in the night sky. Interestingly enough, this will be the brightest star for Earth for the next 210,000 years, Jeez. even though Sirius is coming slightly closer to the sun our eyes couldn't tell it, but from the romantic side, George, this is a beautiful star to watch. It does what astronomers say stars don't do, and I'll take a stab at this. The star does twinkle, but we know from astronomy that the atmosphere makes stars twinkle. But here's what's important about that star. Only 8.6 light years away, very close, thus very bright. So if you go back in time, it means the light left probably around Thursday, April the 24th of 2008. But what's also fascinating, it has a tiny little dwarf star known as Sirius B. And this star itself is just so incredible. It's about the size of the Earth. Look at a little of this. 98% the mass of the sun I mean it's a heck of a dense star. Totally incredible. So watch the star. The Greeks referred to it again. The term Sirius means scorching star. How apropos. But, George, in the little sneak peek into December, we see the beautiful long night full moon coming up here on the night in the morning of the 12th into the 13th, another so-called supermoon, close but not like last month. And then at the same time, this beautiful meteor shower, known as the Geminids, will take place, one of the only meteor showers we know that really comes from an extinct comet-slash-asteroid, but they're usually very bright. The planets Venus still into the southwest at sunset, Mercury makes an appearance by mid-month December, and Jupiter, George, is your morning star high in the east, a blazing bunch of planets, and so much.